Hey everyone, this is Avad from one of my most recent Twitch streams where I primarily stream Destiny 2, but also a variety of other things, ranging from Chaotic Chats, God of War, and Hollow Knight, to the Halo series, Monster Hunter, and Pokemon. It's a shitpost of a time, but it's a good space to hang out and de-stress. If you enjoy the video, a like, comment, or even subscribing would be super appreciated. Or, if you want to see more of my dumb face outside of YouTube, feel free to check out the description below and head on over to Twitch where I stream every Wednesday to Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Hope to see you there. What's it like? A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. They've done it before. We can do it again. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. We can tackle it one step at a time. No, it's a trick. Mother, do you kill them? Don't fall for it. It's me, Senua. It's so loud. It's not her. Just so full of hate. It's a trap. I just want to help them. Tell me what to do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. He's gone now. But they always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, no they won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming. Senor, help me. Help, get me out of here. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. Okay. When her mother lost her smile. D A P. Her past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? Zinbel is her father and the name of the voice of doubt? Thing. It's just one more thing. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Take it slow. You can't go anywhere without your light. Take the torch and move. There we go. 
And that one. And then that's going to be the A. There it is. Okay. Now we need the P. And then what was the first one? It was a P and a D, right, okay. There we go, we have a way back. Good. Okay. Let's find this one. I can't light that. Where? There's one. Then there it is. Okay, one more. It one more. Of the isolating, suffocating darkness that she lived through as a young. The faces in the dark, coming through the walls. She once thought everyone could see them. I mean, that's what children say all the time, isn't it? That there are monsters in the dark. By the time she realized that only she could see them, her father. Zen Bell. Could see the monster in her. She has to. She can't. The total come out. Don't. She can't do it. 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 Every single person on the planet has felt that feeling. When you're going out to the night, like in the middle of the night to go chuck a trash bag in the bin because the bin's on the curb and you forgot that you needed to put that in the bin before it went out. And so you got to go out in the middle of the night and then on the way back, you start, you start getting those thoughts in your head that something is out there. And so you beeline back to the fucking house. Or when you go to turn off a light and you zoom up the stairs at Mach 5 going as fast as you fucking can. while saying fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you yeah d looking this way and there it is there it is do you feel it the beast is crawling into your mind searching for weakness Did you see her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure. And he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin, 
Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rayan reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. It's a trap. The beast is coming. Stupid, believe me. Just go. It's not real. It's not real. Her dad did not put her in a fucking hole in the ground. It's spreading. Father's keeping me away from the others. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find Dewey. We absolutely will. We absolutely will. Another rune. It's just one more. We've dealt with them before. We can do it again. Your eyes on both of them. One step at a time. We got this in the bag. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. How do you counterattack and block? Uh, I think it's... Actually, I don't remember what it is. I think it's right bumper? I think it's right bumper. The only reason why I'm doing as well as I am is because I have a extensive history with Soulsborne. So, like... This kind of combat is, like, my, my mamma jamba. It's my bread and butter. Pairing Gwen since day one. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. This game made you consider playing Dark Souls? Do it. Okay. No, she won't. Nothing's there. We're fine. Yeah, his best sucked. His best fucking sucked. He did nothing of the sort. He ignored it and treated it like it was something to be ashamed of. He did not help. So now we move around to the other side, drop the bridge down. And we'll be good, right? Oh, did I just do that correctly? And not even recognize it? 
I did. Oh, I need to light that. I need to light that torch. Okay. You've done it before, you can do it again. We're good. We're good. We're good. We light and then we go back. Too easy. Where is she going? Faster, faster, keep going, keep going. What is she doing? Stop, stop. And we can just go through. The darkness is apparently Wilhelm. Really? Dude, VO work is so fucking cool. Claustrophobia, thank you. I love this. Yep. Oh, yeah, no, this is fine. We will be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm coming for you. We'll be fine. I'm coming. It's okay. There's nothing behind us. It's okay. We are fine. Motherfucker. Try me. Try me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Manifestation of fear, motherfucker. Eat the fattest of fucking dicks. Fuck you. We got this. We got this. Easy. That, that hit me? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. We got this. We got this.
And fucking crawl back. People think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force. And so invoke the gods for protection. Yeah, ah. Uh. <laughs> evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand. Cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals. Kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, my love. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. Never had a reason to trust you to begin with. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. time I wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. And take me to the mountains. Trust you as deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. Everyone's gone. Even the gods will die. That's true. I don't want to die. Stop. Want to die. Senua, stop. Senua, Turn back. Stop. Stop her. Why is she going? Stop. Senua, stop. Why would she stop to die? She wants to stop. 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 If you don't want to die with me, then leave me What is you saying? I'll kick your ass! <laughs> Rogna rocking on these nuts. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Briar. Facing evil in search of victory and honor. 
clear dividing lines. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It's as if... It absolutely can be, Bubble. Yeah. True torment lies within. Memories you cannot defeat. Cannot escape. This is her hell. I think so. Okay. Okay. The finding of the self, yeah. I think we had an audio desync. God damn it. I remember it clearly now. She has nothing to fear anymore. Okay, cool. The gods have saved your mother. Through my hand. You killed her. This is the will of the gods. Fuck the gods! You did this to her! This is what happens when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and drop you from the inside. Defy the gods like your mother and the darkness will come for you too. You understand, son. Thank you, Zeta. Welcome back. Gods. She to fight you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Your mother, who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her. You killed her. You were the those rituals, the years of isolation, the pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. You're a liar. The darkness is here. You can't wish it away. And it will watch as you draw the last dying dust. I won't let you kill me. I 
need to back away. Here we go. just get louder I turned it down and then again is it fine I tried to save you from yourself okay cool you said that it is a lie the plague of darkness the butchering of the nearby horsemen you saw it yourself Final jam? Oh, fuck, man. So if the darkness is alive, how you safe? His memory. He's here. I know he's here. Dillian, I know you're here. Hold on. Focus. Okay. Come on. Get closer. It's so hard to see what they're doing. There we go, okay. Damien! Where is he? You're trying to trick me again with your lies. I know he's here. You took him from me. I you love that they're bringing back all of the previous bosses and shit. Let him go now. I'm warning you. Or what? What can you do to me that you haven't already? Fight me! Come on! Holy shit! I did not hear that. Okay. You betrayed your own father. We'll be fine. You betrayed the gods in search of time. In search of love. You. Look where that's got you. Come on. Let go of your battle. Let go of redemption. Nope. Let go of the fear. Don't let your darkness hurt anyone else. Oh, 
Come on. Put them all in front. Put them all in front of you. Watch out. Shit. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do this, man. Like... Am I on a timer? Like, why? Why is that happening? Watch out. Can I, like, choose to lock onto the right one, please? I want him. This feels... No. Do we need to let go of the battle? No, I don't want to. There was, there was literally no way to do that. Is it supposed to be fruitless? I hate that. I hate that. God damn it, man. But I mean, that it speaks volumes to the point of it. You're not supposed to win. You're not supposed to win. Like, the game's mechanics intentionally make you fumble, so it's only a matter of time before you do eventually fall.
because I've got nothing left. No fear. No hate. No quest. Nothing. You have the legacy he gave you. The ability to keep moving. No power over me. Well done. Don't be afraid of death, Sarah. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death, and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness. When our time comes, you must look death in the eye and embrace it as a friend. Never forget what it is like to see the world as a child suddenly. Every autumn leaf is like a work of art. Every rolling cloud a moving picture. Every day a new story. We too emerge from this magic, like a wave from the ocean, only to return to the sea. Yep. Waiting to be seen again.
This is where my story once began. And so it has to end here. Because I cannot see further than this. Follow us. We have another story to tell. My friend, go with her. This now will be your story to witness. Hellblade, everybody. Hellblade. I I realized who it was when she was walking away with the head. And dude, there's nothing really to say. The game speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. This entire game is, is a very harrowing and comforting experience. It's very familiar. It's very... It's very personal. It's very... It hits, it hits very close to home for a lot of people. Um, I think, like I said at the start, I think there's certain things that people miss out on if they aren't neurodivergent. Um, or if they don't struggle with some sort of mental health issue, um, which I don't think, I think a lot of people struggle, they just don't know they do. Um, but I think that, I think that people who are neurodivergent get, will get a lot more from this than those that are not. And it touched a lot of things that people think are unmentionable or unhelpable. Yeah. Yeah. It certainly provided some new perspectives for me. And not anything that like will massively shift like the way that I operate within the world because I still operate under the same idea. You never know what demons people are struggling with. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people's struggles are. And because you don't, you should be kind. You should be courteous. You should be generous. You should be accepting, loving. And the message ultimately at the end is It's very simple, and it's touched on at the very start, where Senua's mom says, just because you see the world differently doesn't mean there's something wrong with you, and you don't need to fight against it. You don't need to fight against the current. I get why people are like, holy shit, this game is so good. I get, I get it. I get why people are absolutely bonkers about this thing and i mean I, i'm in i'm in the same corner as the song states the world is trying to change you and yeah i mean like you see that in the mechanics themselves you see that when you know Sunny was trying to put things back into reality right she has to be in a very specific perspective in order for that thing to look that way. And that's just not the way that her worldview functions. But she has to do that. Everything in this entire experience feels extraordinarily well thought out. It, it feels kind of like the same as Tunic in that regard. That there's, there's no wasted space. There's no superfluous anything in the game. Everything has a reason for existing. And it all supports the narrative that it's trying to get across. And it is a very, very beautiful one. I see a lot of myself in, um, in this. And while the struggles might be different, it's hard to not feel like this was kind of made, uh, for me, I know it's not, I know it's not, but like, it's not what this game is trying to teach and what it's trying to say isn't something that I don't already know, but it's it's something else when 
and again maybe it's just my experience maybe it's just because it resonates so much with me that it kind of felt a bit like my <laughs> fuck it felt a bit like my journey and that might have been why it like fucked me up yesterday when I got off because I couldn't really put my finger on it as to why I felt so paralyzed after we ended stream yesterday it kind of makes sense now though like it it kind of makes sense now <laughs> like like that voice that we hear the voice of her father right the the, the voice of doubt it's fucking evil and it lies constantly it's not true whatever that voice tells you it is a fucking lie and you should never believe it ever but when you have that and people then repeat what that voice says it cements it it makes it more real and so when you repeat that dialogue again in your own mind it hurts more you believe it more because if the voice in your head is telling you that that's real and other people are telling you that that's real then it has to be real but that voice is a lie we are our own worst critics we are our own harshest criticizers we are the ones that beat ourselves up more than anybody else could and when you overcome that that part of you which there are parts of myself that i have overcome this perfectly perfectly mirrors my experience with my own internalized self-hatred of what i am but getting through that gave me an immeasurable <laughs> amount of resilience and power that i have been able to carry with me and has been a consistent source of strength and pride i now have three i now have three favorite games two of which i would love to forget so i could play them again but this one I don't need to play it again. I don't need to play it again.